Hi, my name is Adam Deaglesmith. Today, I'm going to go over to Calypso back-office Windows-based software. The back-office program works just like the front of house where you can access all your different reports. So if you want to see an employee report of all their closed checks, their credit card batch detail, or most importantly, their financial recap, you choose the report, choose your start date and your end date, and then you hit Run. You also have the ability to print it to the screen or to the printer. Once you print it to the screen, and it's running through here, once it's done, it will then show it will then show with different options for the different pages to zoom in. Or a nice feature is you can export the report to different formats for Excel or for a Word document. Also, the Calypso Back Office has the ability to export your reports directly to QuickBooks or other interfaces that you might want to be using. You can also run graphs in the Calypso Back Office. So if you want to see your sales by tax table graph, you click on it, you choose your start and end date again, and hit Run. And with the Calypso system, you can go into inventory and set up your inventory tables, your inventory groups, transfer in and out, inventory your waste, and have a closing daily, weekly, and monthly closing inventory. You could also edit your labor reports here by editing your time card and editing your labor schedules without having to go to the front of house terminals. The POS configuration section is everything you need to do under your manager screen for setting up your system. So if you wanted to add a new menu item in, you just click Menu Item Setup, choose the department that you want to add, highlight the item, double click, and then copy the item, find a blank spot, select it, and now you can change the name to whatever item you want it to be save it, and it is automatically updated in the front of the house. You could also go over your discounts, your tax setup, your employee setup for adding in new employees, and everything in Calypso is set up with a copy and paste feature. So you would go into a blank template, double click, copy again, find a blank spot, select it, and then change the name of your employees. Save again. In the Calypso system, you could also go into your employee setup, Choose an employee template, double click on it, copy, find the next spot to put the employee in. For this example, we'll use 11, hit select, change the name of the employee and the last name and the uh, access code if they're going to not go with the access code that was given to them, and hit save. Uh, you can also set up your job codes, your order type setups, uh, your different media setups, and especially your terminal setup, where if you're using the back office, which is the PC workstation, you need to make sure that it's talking to your other terminals. The other utility menu, you have it where you can view your checks. You can set up your limited quantity, which is uh, if you're running low on something, kind of like an out-of-stock and specials feature, where if you're having out-of-stock items and you don't want to run low, you can actually give the system a count, and it'll count down on the screen. You can back up the system here. You can also restore the program if needed to. Um, when you run a, a System Z, you can do a System Z from the back office, which shows you what your reports were from the front of the house. You could also do your Labor Z. So now let's go deeper into the reports. So in our report field, we'll go into our employee reports. So if we wanted to look at our employees' closed checks, we choose the report, we choose our start date, our end date, and the start and end date can only be when the last Z was. If they have X's down here, it's either a weekly report or it's a period report. After choosing that, you could choose all your employees or just current employees, and you can have a drop-down list here. And we're going to do it to the screen, and you hit Run. Right now, it's collecting all the information from your different terminals. 
So now I have no employees with closed checks because we didn't open yet today. The other reports we could do is the employee credit card batch detail, which gives me full information of all the credit cards, like all the visas, all the MasterCards they took one by one. The summary just gives me a lump sum of all the visas and all the MasterCards. The department sales mix is a report that tells me how I did for my beverage department or my beer department or my alcohol department. My financial report is for the employee is for each employee's basic cash out. A loan pickup report is used for if I was doing any drops or skims from my terminal. Uh, the other reports are like an open checks report will show how many open checks the employee has, uh, any refunds that were done, and any voids. The other reports for inventory, you could do a daily count sheet, which is your manager uh, worksheet, where they can go around and count the different inventory items that they have set up for a daily, weekly, or monthly count. You also have your daily inventory status and your inventory totals. You also can set up your department food cost and your major group food cost, uh, as long as your item, menu item food cost. So you can see how you're doing on particular items or a department in general. You can also set up period count sheets. So if you're going your periods by the month, you can do your counts by the month, the week, or the day. Going into labor reports, you could set up your daily job code for labor, your daily staffing charts to make sure that you have enough people, who's punched in, employee pay reports for payroll, and you know, employee schedules, you can print up employee time cards. All the reports here are on a, week, on a daily basis. Anything that's PTD is for a monthly basis, and anything that's WTD is for a weekly basis. These listings here is just general information. So if I wanted to know how many employees I have, I could do an employee listing to the screen again. And as I hit run, these are all my employees, their information, and should have their phone number on who work for my restaurant. I'm going to exit out of that. And this is just listing reports. So if you want to know your job codes or your item listing, it's nothing you could change in here, but you get a listing, an idea of what you have. Your revenue centers are based on if you want to know how your bar is doing versus your dining or how takeout is going versus eat in. You can run your different reports here. The system report is going to be a general for all your terminals. So if I want to know how my restaurant did with a cash out report, it's, or my cash report, it's going to give me a cash report for every terminal I have versus my terminals right here, which gives me specific terminal itself. If I want to know my financial report for one terminal outside in the Tiki area, I can run this report. If I want to know for all my terminals in the restaurant, I would go back to the other screen for my system and I would run the report here. Also, you have your period to date report, which we usually set up as a monthly period. And then you have your week to date report. Pinnacle offers a hardware bundle that will run your Calypso back office software. In the bundle, you will get a PC, a monitor, the Calypso back office software, and training to get the most out of your Calypso system. This is Adam Deaglesmith, and thank you for watching.